Hello, and welcome to Ponery's Kickin' It Old School, Season 4, Episode 13. This is Chrono Trigger. We are in the year 2099, something like that? We're in the future. And we are at the origin of robots. And I have to figure out which door is the right one. I guess I should have looked at the last episode. <laughs> Well, let me just take a peek. There's an elevator there, which I think is how we got down here. Yeah. There's something... Ooh, there's something there. Attracted by something shiny. Power tab. Who needs power? Not you, not you, and not you. Okay. I think we were challenged by the mother brain to come and deal with this. So we have to get in there. It's not a Metroid reference. Come on. Lapis? Can we open this? What the hell? Oh, he jumped. Feels like there's supposed to be something that falls down on top of us there for. Ooh, there's another shiny object. Magic tab. Very good. Okay. So I'm just trying to breach and clear the area because I think once we're done with it, we can't come back, so I want to get the most out of it. Oh, those are people. A human processing plant. Let us stop the machine. What a great idea. It's too well guarded. We have to destroy the central computer. Right. Because, you know, they're eating... They're eradicating people. That's kind of screwed up. Oh. Well, we can't go that way. What I can do is... Sneak in and out of here. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Those guys aren't dead yet. That's what's screwed up. That's like a, a page out of Final Fantasy VI. Alright, we're just gonna do this the old fashioned kinetic way. Nice. I'm just gonna use lightning too and hope for the best. Counterattack. Now do your spell. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if this is the way to the last to the boss. Maybe I should go back to that other thing. Maybe. Let's see, how's this work? Uh Come on. Okay, we can't go that way. Can't go that way. This is not a switch. So, yeah, I guess we do have to go that one way. That's fine. Was it this? No. It was this way. Yeah. But first, we save. To understand this planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around, and yet you still want to fight. Why? Because I can. Oh, let me get the mouse out of the way. 
Obviously we've got two turrets and two robots there. Can I finagle my way around them? Probably not. Very well. He shot his own homeboy. I think he hit it. No? Weird. Oh, he detonated. Factory we go. Oops. I didn't pay attention to that one. That's on me. Easy. I have to go... Yeah, okay. I think I know how this works. We finally made it to here. And there should be an entry this way? Yes. We do that. That should... Fl yep, that flips the conveyor. Okay. Then we run down here. We should have enough... Uh-oh. Maybe not. This way? No, that's where we have to fill it. Hmm. There is... Well, let's kill this first. It's kind of in our way. Why would they shoot each other? I don't understand that. I think they're faulty or something. Now they can be faulty. Inhale. Okay. Now, this must have to be like a perfect run. Not there. Damn, I hope that didn't restart the... The, uh... See, we can't go through here. Uh, we did all that already, that's fine. Holy crap, okay. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. Doubt this is the right way to do this. But we're gonna find out. See, there's no freaking way. Like, there's no way. <laughs> You've gotta be able to go through here. Like, there has to be. This has to be an ingress point. Like, there's no other way to do that. even trigger them. Okay, so, uh, hmm. no, we don't want to go down. Can I do anything with this? I wonder if that keeps us charged. I mean, let's find out. Like, what if I go through here, and then I go through here? Right? Nothing. So that's already a wash. Just doesn't last very long. How the heck are we supposed to do that? We can't go up there from here either.
Let's just go take a look and see if anything fell. No, see, these things are still here. And those are just where dead robots were. do that. Can I charge here? No. If I do this. No. No freaking way, man. <sighs> right. I mean, really? Even if I make a perfect run for it. See, I just got stuck for some stupid reason. I just get stuck again. I'm gonna try it like a keyboard warrior. Because apparently my diagonals don't work with my joystick for whatever reason. So let me take a quick little pause and try it. If it works, I'll join you back with the door open. Because I can't do it without reprogramming the input. Be right back. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought. I had to use the keyboard to do it, but it worked. It's just I have to jump out and reconfigure my input because there's no alternate keys. Lame, I know. So now we finally get this robot. Okay. Now I talk to him. All right. Pretty sure he follows us. Come on, robot. Let's go. Sort it out, robot. There you go. He could just glide over this, whereas I have to really work for it. Come on, bro. Look how janky his movements are. Come on, robot. did. Maybe we did, because there's the save point right here. Let's save. Okay, we got both of those. Well, hello. Welcome home, Prometheus. It's got a girl bot. Atropos? Yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. <laughs> Unlike the other R-series, Prometheus had a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. I see. Tell them, Prometheus.
Now step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans and then go see Mother. <laughs> We're leaving. Oh, he hit his girlfriend. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus! Wait, stand back and leave this to me. Atropos? Prometheus! <laughs> oh, it's the battle. Alright, I'm gonna use Uzi Punch. 16, seriously? Try this on. Yep. Is legit. <laughs> she has Robo Tackle. Wow, that actually hurts. Should I go for 300? I'm gonna take a gamble. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh crap, she has Uzi Punch too! Try this one on. Yeah. Why are you still standing? Area bomb. I guess this is where she detonates. Ten? What? I'm gonna take the time to heal this one time. Apparently. Six damage. Pr Prometheus, it's been ages. Atropos? I'm damaged. What happened? I knocked some sense into you. My memory bank. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. This is for you. You can plug it into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, she died. We couldn't give her to Luca. Damn. Atropos' ribbons ups Robo's speed by 3 and magic defense by 10. Do we want to wear that? Uh, what do I have on him now? Speed belt. His speed belt goes up by 3. Is it the magic scarf? No. It is... where is it? No, no, no. I don't see her ribbon. We can do that while we're at it. Okay, so her ribbon's not there. Maybe, is it a headpiece? Nope. I never gave him the other weapon either. Oops. Huh. I don't get it. I don't get it. Speed belt. Speed belt's crap compared to that ring. It's odd. 
she gave it to me, but I couldn't do anything with it. Like, it's not there. I wonder if it's in my items. be like just a, a specialized item that went straight into his passive stats or something. Like I can't think of anything else. And that's fine. Listen well, humans. Lavos' children will one day have to live to seek, leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. I don't think so. I guess it's this way. Oh look, there's one of them. There's the other one. I don't remember putting the first one down. Oh well, we've arrived. take on an ethereal form. You did well to come this far. I am Mother Brain of the RY Series Factory. Come, Prometheus. You must once again join us. I'll reset your circuits, circuitry and re erase your memories. Then we'll dispose these filthy humans. I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memories or my irreplaceable friends. You would betray me to stay with these humans? He would turn against the family of robots? Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marley, Luca, Glenn, and Isla. Ayla? I always... I don't know. I will not betray my friends. Ho ho. <laughs> this is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions? Well, you just started laughing. I'll show you just how human you've become. Okay, so here's the trick with her. I... These, these screens have very little attack power. What I want to do is attack just her, because she can't counterattack. Oh, they're going to give her a thousand. Alright, let's try that. Let's take out that one, too. So the idea is, I don't want to take out all three screens, just two of them. Oh, she has a counterattack. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. If she can get back a thousand each time, that's not going to work. Then again, I might be able to outrun it. I guess it won't matter at this point. She does have an attack, though, after this. And that could be a problem. I don't think that spell's gonna work. Yeah, there's that to deal with now. Oh, that's nothing. I was worried about nothing. Let's use lightning too, I guess. Since that magic attack of hers is useless against me anyway. She was easy. Prometheus. Why? Why not? Got the Terra arm and the Crisis arm. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. <laughs> We're leaving. 
Let's go. Well, he seems really cheerful. All right, so he's got two new arms. Why would I want... Let's see, Terra arm was one. What was the other one? Yeah, we're using that one no matter what, but... Crisis arm. Attack changes below 10 HP. No thanks. I don't want to be that weak. I think we're good. Alright, so that solves that little issue. Issue. Uh, is this the temple? Sunkeep, yeah. Alright, let's go up here. It isn't here. The moonstone isn't anywhere. It's taken recently, though. Let's go back in time a bit. Toma. I smell Toma. We can't go there. You go there and you have to fight it out with Lavos. So it must be here. Maybe. Doesn't look like it's here either. Has someone from this era taken it? Oh, crap. I don't think so. I think Tomon did. So it is 1000 AD. Uh, does that mean I have to get another drink from Toma and then pour it over his grave? Does that seem feasible? What's this? Sunkeep? Giant's Claw. We already did that. Are you in here? Yeah, you are. So, Robo, you beat me to the rainbow shell. No, I'm not sour about it. I probably couldn't have handled the monsters, but I will find the sunstone first. Dang it. Right, okay. Let's go to 1000. Let's just go to Toma's grave anyway. Maybe we still have a pop, like he didn't use it all up the first time or something. Oh, I can change my characters now, too. Like, I don't have to stick with this. Alright, let's go with... We haven't used Island in a while. Yeah, let's go with Luca for a little while. Alright, so that's not it. Maybe it's his descendant. They always like to do weird things like that. There he is. See? Toma the 13th. Ancient scrolls tell us that if you combine a rainbow shell with a sunstone, you can make a fearsome weapon. Right? Okay, so he doesn't have it. got that stone. It's not that. Hmm. Now we cleared the mystics, right? Like, they're all dead. So we know it's not that. Oh yeah, did I get what's left in here? can't get it in 600 because the forest covers it, so it's definitely not that. Well... 
talk to the elder here, I guess. Yes, sir, I take pride in cleaning up. No, I'm not slacking off. This work is brutal. I'm the leader of Medina. Make yourself at home. Well, who's this guy, then? The name's Bando. Here to build a ferry between Medina and Truce. Oh, that's cool. Build it faster, bro. Okay, so these guys don't have it. That one still talks about the black omen. So it's not that. <sighs> Alright. It's not the square. It's not these guys. They're too chill. Hmm. Let's go talk to Melchior, I guess. We're not doing the black omen yet. And Melchior is probably not at his house. So got my freaking sunstone. Hmm. Let's go see if he's still down here. remember it. I had to find it from somebody and put it back and then go back to the future again and pick it up fully charged. So right now it's temporarily charged. It's not good enough. Someone still has it though. Somebody here still has my sunstone. Who would it be? Let's go talk to the Chancellor I suppose. Okay, so it's not you guys. That's to what used to be the prison, but there's no bridge there anymore. So that's that out. I don't think it's anyone here in the castle. So who in the heck has my stone? Hmm. Uh, oh, there it is. Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's glowing so shiny. Alright, do you have my sunstone? You're interested in the moonstone? Well, someone simply left it here. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you take it? Thanks. It's because I fixed his uh, greed that he's so willing to give it up. That worked out pretty good. Alright, let's go find the shrine again. Man, it better. 
better be here. There it is. Amazing, with this much energy I can make a powerful weapon. Let's go back to my house now. Damn, Luca. Thought we were going to give it to Melchior. I'll modify the sunstone to extract its energy. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. It's one hell of a crucible. And it's finished. What do you got? Prisma gun? Sun gun? Girl, you better share. Wonder shot. Take a look, Luca. I borrowed a bit of that sunstone to create something nifty. Nifty, he says. Damage can vary. Okay. So what are sunshades for? Ups attack power. Uh, yeah, she's gonna need that. So she's got 32, Marley's got 32. Every, everyone else's power is maxed out. So, can I... How many power tabs do I have? Seven? Hey... I don't know what max is. Let's assume 35. I'll give her one more. Thirty-six. And then I'll give Marley the other one. So I'm gonna need you to swap places with her for just a little bit. spreading the load because my power is maxed out on the, every other character anyway. Forty-six, ninety-six, she's maxed out. He's maxed out. So I need to give some to Glenn. He has thirty-nine. Right? No, he has fifty-six. That's 32. I don't think Ayla has spells, though. We're going to hold off on the magic tab usage just for a second. I need to go see Melchior with this sunstone bit. He's got to be able to make me some cool stuff. Sunstone. I can create an alloy out of it. Do it. Make me a new Masmune. Something better. Prism Specs. I think that's the last of my bag of tricks. That's a sword. Yeah, you're doing... Where are you going, bro? Yeah, what's prism specs? Ups attack power to the max. Ooh, see that? I wasted all those tabs for nothing. I will use prism specs on you? Yeah, what was the ribbon for? Strike. Yeah, prison specs. Max attack power. Okay, we've done a thing.
So he bailed. Let's go to his house. Did you find it weird that the omen is right above his house? There he is. A black omen which floats above or floats in the sky, made by neither the mystics or humans. What does it portend? Oh, you won't you won't sell me any more stuff, huh? Fine. Let's go to the end of time right quick. See if we have any other side quests to do. Logos. Yeah, we're, this is the same thing. One of you is close to somebody who needs help. Find this person fast. Okay, so that's the last thing we got. And the last thing we got involves Shala. You got whack because you're weak. Going my way. Now we've got a winning team. Okay, I'll let you take the lead on this one too. And you will come with me and Marley will come with me. That's a pretty good setup. Take out the Black Omen in the Middle Ages. Or no, in 12,000 BC. In Shala's time. Because she needs our help! What is this? Cave. Okay, this is the cave with the portal. I never even checked to see if we had uh, all those little pillars of light yet. Let me go just indulge me. I'm just curious if we actually unlocked all of them or not. That's what the noise he used to make. No, see, there's two left. There are two points of light that still aren't here. I'm fairly certain of it. Let's go play with Specchio right quick. Let's go whoop that ass. Oh, you look like a new again. Hey, punkhead, where you been? Looking for some practice? Yeah. Alright. Fix to whoop that ass. Damn, that spell's brutal. This. You get black hold. Yeah. I sorted. Yeah, that spell don't work on him. That does though. I beat him last time. That's crazy. Alright. Fine, whatever. I'll get you some other time. We have a very, very big fish to fry now. Let's go do it. May take two episodes to do this one. This is a big fight. Just some full speed ahead. There 
we go. This, I believe, is to leave. Like, it's not a tab. See? No. We're going for it. That's a lot of guard. Haven't you learned your lesson? We are immortal. We shall live forever with Lavos, who devours this planet even as he sleeps. Draining this planet's power, Lavos will rule the world in a mere 14,000 years. The Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. It is a shrine which provides us with limitless power. As long as the Mighty One reigns, your dreams are hopeless. Let me just kill that cow. If I remember right, one of those halves is magic and the other half is physical. Let's find out if it's the top half first. Bit of time doing that, didn't I? Ah, hey, whoa, bruh. if anyone needs more tech spells. Dark Matter, Area Bomb, Frog Squash, Flare, Tailspin. Okay, I need to switch characters just because I need the tech points. So, you're finished. Let me get Ayla. And you're finished. Let me get Luca. Yeah, that's a good combination, right? Let's look at the tech now. Oops, wrong button. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. I can tell you right now, these guys you can't you can't hit when they're behind the shields. Wait for them to peek out. Ah, wrong guy. Damn it. Nines, yup. Okay. Nothing up here. 
I need to fight everything because I need all the tech points. Holy crap, that weapon's badass! Alright then! Certified badass. Oh, yeah, this isn't a bad way. He's going down. Okay, it's not a revive. Luca has become awesome. Okay, oop, wrong button again. Need to use Isla's tech. Yeah, there we go. Good now. They're here. All he knows is they have to die. That's all he under she understands. Like, I don't know what you are, what you're made out of, but you gotta die. What? You're still standing? I don't know. We'll take that save, thank you. Uh, shelter first. Nice. Now save. It's the guys in the walls. I remember right, this is one of those levels I dreaded just because of how long it was, but it's really cool. Like, the layout's cool. Gotcha. I need to make sure she has a relic that maxes out her crit. That's... yeah, we gotta do that. doesn't really hurt. It's kind of weak. 
weak for a crit. guys work. Oh, fine, we'll just take out the boss. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be a thing. I thought we had to take out the, oh, the sidekicks first. Sort of like that sun god thing that we took out for the moonstone. Hundred tech points. That's awesome. Give me, yeah, give me more of these guys. They're easy. That's fine by me. Oh, crit. Spin and flare and fire whirl. Thank you. Got any more techs we can learn? He's done. You're not done. She's done. Okay, let's swap out Luca for Robo. Yeah, let's take out our crit monster. That might be stupid. Frog squash. Okay, let me swap out Janice for Glenn, I guess. It's only temporary. Gotcha, that should do it. missing because Ayla needed to kill frog squash hey there we go dang did we get everything for him already yep he's done okay so I could put technically I can put uh, Janice back in What I ought to do, actually what I ought to do, because I know these three have a tech that works together. I do it like this. We have a triple tech we need to learn too, right? Oh, 
Oh no, maybe we got it already. Yeah, we do got it already. Okay. Well, in that case... We'll go with this crew. dead before I get to do this. Yep. Well. Uh, no cure. Two MP to give max HP. That's... What a trade. Down to the next floor. I forgot if this place is full of goodies or not. I know there's fights while we're doing this, though. Oh, look, it's, uh... Yeah. Robots. Somebody's got chaos. Just... Wow. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> That's right. Okay, this way. Oh, another one of these guys. Unfortunately, we're all teched out, so it doesn't matter at this point. No goodies in this whole place. Oh, <laughs> just as I say that. Literally, just as I say that. Suddenly, boxes. Got that one, got that one. Oh dear. This should do it. 
drops are nice. Like, they've been giving them to us constantly, but there's like lapis and hyper ethers and elixirs and everything here. Really, really generous place. It's like, you can't fail because of how much stuff they give you here. If you built your character right, like if you grinded it out or whatever. Wow, he got him in one hit. Very nice. My first instinct was to go left. See, now I found stuff and things. Another fight. <laughs> That's, this is on me. My own fault. Ah, there's no way it's gonna work on him. Vigil hat. Wrong button. I'll get it right eventually. He's already wearing one. Protect status. Sure! Because she's already got one, so yeah, it worked out great. Ooh, more stuff. And more things. Really? Oof. No. No. Apparently you can't wear it. He was already wearing one. Now he does too. She couldn't wear it. Okay. Let's charge up our batteries a bit. We got a fight coming. It's coming today. Oh, a couple of news. Uh, let's shop. Got it, got it. I'll take two of those. You might be wondering why I'm doing this. If I get it in gigantic quantities, it'll start taking down my money.
towards the max. This is so nice. What an exploit. And yeah, we're kind of into overtime a bit today, aren't we? It's okay. I kind of want to finish this one thing before we close out the episode. And I have a feeling we're close to finishing it. Come again. Let's just chat this time. These just don't sell too well. Ho, ho, ho. What about you? Three of you, and in a place like this, you've got a long journey ahead of you, so please rest a while. And if you wish to awaken from this dream, there's, there probably is a way. What will you do? Stay. I suspect if you... Uh, Actually, no, you know what? I think we do have to wake up from this because there's no other way out of here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to save and I'm going to say that this was Ponery's Kicking It Old School. Slightly cliffhangerish, just because I need to... Well, we need to see what happens next. Um, because I think waking up sends you to the next battle. That's the only thing I can think of. Anyway... If you like what you saw, hit the old like button, or if you haven't done so already, maybe subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome, but if you're a regular here, welcome back. Either way, either check out my other playlists and see if my other interests may be of interest to you. I suspect the next episode might be the last episode for this series, because there's really not a lot left. So I'll leave it here, we'll try to finish the Black Omen, and the only thing left afterwards will be Lavos. So until then, we'll see you later.